Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It is Moon Moth Goddess. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, for those of you that are new, welcome. You may also want to check out my second tarot channel, Neptune's Child Tarot, where I do have a bunch of other pick your card readings posted uh, for you guys there as well. So um, as I said in my last video, I've had a lot going on with this whole move um, from Arizona to Texas and um, I just wanted to let you guys know that after all the stress, I would say, <laughs> to put it mildly, all of the stress from going through that, um, it had really taken a toll on me, um, not only physically with having to, you know, get everything done, but also mentally, emotionally. Um, so I did need to take a break, um, you know, from, from doing anything for the channel. Um, I needed to, I needed, I really needed to rest. And so over, you know, um, the holidays, I really just kind of made sure that I put myself first and take the rest that I needed to kind of restore, uh, my energy. So I do appreciate you guys so much for your, your support and for all of the beautiful comments and those of the, the you that reached out to me personally, you know, just to kind of check on me, but I, I've, I've been doing this for about what, four and a half years already. And so through those four and a half years that I've been recording videos, um, for the channel, um, I wouldn't take a break and I would keep going and keep going and keep going. And I, I, I just honestly feel like everything just kind of like caught up with me. Um, and especially kind of going through the move, it was like, okay, <laughs> you need to slow down, you need to rest. And so I, I feel like um, it was something that I really felt I needed to do is just kind of a little bit of a detox um, from social media and just kind of take some time to just really allow myself that time and space to kind of regain my energy. Um, because, you know, for those of you that are familiar with reading tarot, it can take a lot of energy, you know, tapping into other people's energies and, you know, um, it can be a little bit exhausting <laughs> mentally, emotionally at times. And so depending on, you know, what kind of energies we're reading into, but, um, yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for your love, your support. Um, <clears throat> I'm okay. I'm good. I'm just, I'm just feeling called to take more time to rest when, you know, and, and to certainly pay attention to when, you know, I'm being guided to do that. Okay. So today's pick a card reading, since it has been a little bit that I've been recording here, we're just going to kind of do an energy check-in today. Okay. That's something that's, you know, not so much stressful for me going into something that's super complicated today and just kind of easing my way back into it. Um, okay. So we're going to look into what your person, person on your mind, what they are thinking and feel about you, feeling about you. Um, so we do have three piles for you guys today. If you guys have more than one, of course, connection on your mind, you're more than welcome to choose a different pile for a different person. Um, if you're new to the channel, I do have a playlist filled with pick a card readings. Um, you guys are more than welcome to just kind of scroll through there and see if there's something that kind of catches your eye with that as well. So we're looking at what are they thinking and feeling about you currently. We have the three piles here. So pile one is going to be this deck here. And this is the Moon Dust Tarot. And that is going to be with this clear quartz crystal. For those of you that are new and also those of you that are current subscribers, I always list all of the tarot decks that I'm using, all of the oracle decks that I'm using. I always put them in the description box. Okay, I have them listed underneath tarot decks and oracle decks. So if you guys are interested in purchasing one of these decks for yourself, just go into the description of any one of the videos that I upload. It, that information is always there. I see some people leaving comments from a video that I recorded like two years ago and saying, what deck is this? <laughs> um, so just know they're always in the description box. Okay. So pile one, we have clear quartz. Okay, and this is what the back of your deck looks like. So pile number one, that is going to be yours. Pile number two, 
pile number two this is the ethereal visions tarot and it is the luna edition and that is going to be with this smoky citrine and that is going to be yours here pile number two pile number three you are going to be the moon child tarot and that is going to be with this pink Lemurian quartz. So pink Lemurian quartz, and that is with this deck here. Very, very light pink. Okay. So those are the choices. What are they thinking and feeling about you? Pile one with the moon dust tarot and the clear quartz. Pile number two with the ethereal visions tarot, the Luna edition with the smoky citrine and then pile number three we have the moon child tarot with the pink lemurian quartz timestamps will be down below and i will see you guys at your reading hi pal one so those of you that resonated with this clear quartz crystal here this is going to be a reading we're going to put your crystal right here we're going to look at what your person is currently thinking and feeling about you just keep in mind that this is a general reading. Not all the messages that come through may be for you. If something doesn't really fit your situation, do not force it to. Okay, just let that part of the message go. It may not be for you. Um, I am available for private readings. Okay, you can always find my email down below in the description box. Just send me an email and I will provide you with more information on booking readings as well as other services. Um, that I do provide. So pile one, let's see. What is your person thinking and feeling about you? Pile number one, what is your person thinking and feeling about you? We have the nine of pentacles. What is your person currently thinking and feeling about you? We have the Two of Swords and the Page of Swords coming through. Two of Swords, Page of Swords. Okay, so we have the Ace of Cups here too. Hmm. What is your person currently thinking and feeling? We have the Seven of Swords. What is this person currently thinking and feeling? We have the Two of Wands. The Six of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So what I'm kind of getting from this person is that there are romantic feelings that are here. Some of you, it is a very deep energy of, of love. Some of you, this is talking about reconciliation or renewal of love in your connection. Or even having very deep feelings for you that this person... I feel like it's feeling very conflicted about expressing to you. I feel like this person is someone who has a hard time expressing their feelings in general. Um, some of you, this person might very well be avoiding talking or, yeah, talking to you. So some of you might even be in a no contact situation with this person. Um, some of you I'm getting, you might even work with this person. I'm feeling school, work, um, maybe a situation here. I definitely feel like this person is kind of like at a crossroads with this connection between the two of you right now. I feel like there is some fear there. It's kind of like this person is in their head, in their head about this connection. And I feel about being able to approach you, talk to you, express to you what is in their heart. Um, I don't feel quite yet that this person is ready to come forward to communicate. However, some of you might receive some type of communication. 
I'm getting this person is receiving a lot of messages, a lot of signs, a lot of things that are kind of, you know, letting this person know that it is safe for them to be able to come forward to express whatever it is that they want to say to you. And I do feel like it is really about love, their feelings, their emotions. Um, it could be a person approaching you about a new beginning, reconciliation, or even a new opportunity in love for, for some of you. Okay, this person is really trying to trust their intuition of when it is the right time to come forward. I do feel like this person is sometimes can get in their head and can, you know, kind of run away. There could be a little bit avoidant for some of you, anxious, um, kind of pulling away. Some of you, I feel like this person is afraid of losing their sense of independence. Um, but I'm definitely feeling that there is mutual feelings that are happening between you and this person. And I feel like more or less at this point right now, it's kind of like this person is questioning whether or not to kind of reciprocate. Like you could have even told this person like what your feelings are or showed this person in some way that, that there was some interest there or feelings there, emotions. And I feel like this person does reciprocate them, but they're kind of not knowing how to put it into words what they're feeling. And I do feel like they have been really trying to work on themselves. Um, to, I feel like for some of you to put in more dedicated effort, to put in more effort into uh, your connection and to really, um, maybe for some of you, it's making some type of compromises um, with the situation between the two of you. Okay. I feel like this person is questioning, like giving more, putting more effort into it. And I'm seeing the Ten of Pentacles here at the bottom. So for some of you, this is like serious relationship stuff. A Five of Swords is underneath that. So for some of you, this person could be someone who does have a tendency to self-sabotage. Um, you know, some of you, I mean, it could be that there may have been some type of conflict between you and this person. Um... I feel like this person is really in a place where they're kind of questioning what is the future? What's the potential here? Um, if you do have conflict with this person, can the two of you overcome that? Okay, maybe something that they're thinking or can they overcome kind of even their own inner demons, especially for those of you where you know the person might have a little bit of commitment phobia. Okay, for the rest of you though, with the Ten of Pentacles energy here, I'm kind of seeing this as a person who's thinking about future with you in terms of long term, the longevity of your connection. Now, if you already with this person, you're already in a relationship, you're already married, you know, if there is some conflict that's kind of coming up here, there might even be trust issues for some of you. Okay, won't be for all of you. But some of you there could be that there too. Um, I am feeling like this person is trying to work towards um, seeing what can be done to move past this type of energy, like you know, is it possible for us to really transform this relationship um, and to have something that is has some longevity to it long term? But it definitely looks like this person wants to put the effort in. Um, like I said, I feel like there's a lot of stuff that's on this person's mind that they feel like they cannot put into words um, is kind of what I'm getting. Some of you I'm getting there's distance here. It could be a long distance or even an online connection. Okay. I feel like this person is very attracted to you. They're trying to find uh, balance, I feel like, within themselves. Um, some of you, this person might be withdrawn from you. And if that is the case, this person is really, you know, having a change of perspective and outlook on um, the situation happening between the two of you. Okay, so let's now put or pull some oracle cards and see what else and let's see i definitely have air sign energy here gemini libra aquarius lots of earth energy taurus virgo capricorn um also cancer energy as well. okay let's see pile one what is your person currently thinking and feeling about you some of you I'm kind of getting that this person might be really focused on their career and finances as well. Okay. Really focused on career and finances. And maybe for some of you that could be something that had been blocking this person from being able to, 
you know, allow this connection to progress further. If you guys work with each other, they could also be feeling a little bit skeptical. Work, school, um, there could be a little bit of skepticism. You know, they could be afraid of opening themselves up to say like love at work or, you know, whatever the situation is between the two of you. So let's see what else. What are they thinking and feeling about you, Kyle? One, we have diverge here. And it says being on different levels or growing apart. Okay, being on different levels or growing apart. So take it how it resonates. Like I said, all of these messages to come through here. We also have, I don't share the same goals as you. Wow. So that may be for some of you here, especially if there are mm, some conflicting energies that could be coming through here for some of you with this person. We have, you show me what it's like to be happy again. Okay. So like I said, don't force messages to fit. If they don't really resonate to your situation, just leave them alone. Um, we have Ascension here and it says your spirits are joined on a higher level. I actually want to see kind of where this is coming from too. If it's more or less this person kind of having sabotaging thoughts here. Some of you, there can, there, I mean, this energy also makes me kind of feel if there's like a big difference between your financial situation, their financial situation, like if one person has, is more secure financially than the other, there may be some issues that are there as well. Okay. We have big love here and it says, this is the one you have both been waiting for. So big love. So it makes me feel like this person is really kind of seeing the emotions, the feelings that are here involved in this um, connection here. I want to pull this energy before we go any further. Let's, okay, Spirit. So what is this about not sharing the same goals or growing apart? Where is this coming from with Pile One's person? Where is this coming from? We have the fool. Okay. So it's coming from the energy of the fool. Is this person afraid of taking a risk or taking a leap of faith here? Hmm. Maybe you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Where is this energy coming from? We also have this Sun and the Three of Wands. Hmm. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. Aries energy is also coming through. I'm seeing if there's like a boat that's leaving distance. So maybe, like I said, some of you, it's distance here. It might even be questioning, like, are we going to be, will, will I be happy? Will, will, will be, we be, be <laughs> will we be happy? Will we be happy in the future together? That's kind of what I'm getting from this. You know, can I see myself being with you? Can, do we have a future together? Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Let's pull some more here. What are they thinking and feeling about you? Okay. So we have goddess here. And it says affirming the sacred feminine in yourself. So to me, this is about opening up to love and feelings. We have serenity here, finding peace after a difficult struggle. Maybe the struggle is within them, between the two of you. We also have, I've heard apologies many times before. So yeah, again, this kind of makes me feel like there might be some, either the two of you guys have had conflict that has been challenging between the two of you, or it may be that this person is someone who does have some trust issues. Okay. 
Or if this person has done something wrong to you, maybe they have apologized to you and this is something that you may have said to them. Let's see, what are they thinking and feeling about you? Pile one. Yeah, look at that. We've got my insecurities get the best of me. Hmm. We have together here, resolving to make things work between the two of you is kind of where this person's head is at. Okay, like I said earlier, trying to move beyond the conflict. We also have, I honestly don't know what I want. And I feel like that's where that two of swords and two of wands comes in. Because the person's having these conflicting thoughts that are coming through, right? Insecurities, the seven of swords, that running away, the avoidance, maybe being afraid of taking a leap of faith. And then also thinking about future I honestly don't know what I want. And I'm seeing at the bottom, we have being with you makes me anxious. Being with you makes me anxious. Let's see why. Why do they get anxious? Why do they get anxious? Six of Wands. Mm, okay, well, I'm getting a couple different things with this. The Six of Wands. Some of you might be super attractive okay <laughs> super attractive in which maybe you get a lot of attention from others um and this could be something that does make this person feel nervous like can they make you happy are you going to be happy for the long term um I also feel with the Six of Wands energy here that there is a lot of recognition here, a lot of appreciation. You know, you may also be someone who does give this person a lot of attention, you know, and it might make this person feel like, can I really make pile number one happy? Okay. And I feel like that more, what, insecure, self-conscious. Okay. What is this? I honestly don't know what I want. Where's this energy coming from? The star. Mm. this person could still be healing they could be really trying to remain optimistic but we got the seven of cups here so this is feeling a little bit overwhelmed emotionally feeling confused um maybe kind of thinking about their options fantasizing dreaming about what is possible okay hmm all right let's see what else Mm, let's go into where is the deck at there it is okay all right let's see what else pile one what are they thinking and feeling about you we have wishing here and it says, I wish I was emotionally available to let you in. We also have confused. I don't understand all these emotions for you. I'm confused right now and I don't want to hurt you. Right? To me, that's a lot of that like page of swords energy of not knowing how to express what they're thinking, what they're feeling. currently thinking and feeling we have immature here and it says I know that I was immature and I still need to grow and learn to be someone who deserves you so there can be feelings of unworthiness here angry I'm angry at myself for causing us to be apart I feel like I ruined everything so that might be for some of you here we have lessons. I'm paying the price for not giving you my heart. These are some hard lessons I was not expecting. Okay. And then we have wondering at the bottom. And it says, I'm wondering if you want to see me. We need a heart to heart conversation. Okay. Let's see. Let's do these ones here. What are they thinking and feeling, pile one? We have love ignites. I'm just going to take all of these. Let's see what we got. We've got love ignites here. We have vows. So to me, this is talking about the commitment with these, that we saw with the Ten of Pentacles. 
We also have shattered, stalemate, and red hot. So a lot of very passionate energy, attraction, desire this person feels towards you. But the stalemate is the indecision, the two of swords. Okay. Um, I'm seeing awakening here at the bottom. So it could be that this person is awakening to their feelings, their emotions. If they are someone who's made a mistake or no contact with you, then they could be feeling shattered right now. I do want to look a little bit more. Why why is this person feeling shattered here? Why is this person feeling wow, we got the lovers. I'm gonna have to cover this up a little bit. Because YouTube is funny about certain things not being age appropriate. So we gotta cover them up because they're loving on each other. <laughs> but we have shattered here. Um, so lovers is about a commitment, a connection, it could be about a marriage. Um, can't, wow, look at that. Ten of Cups. And the Magician. Some of this person really wants this with you, okay? So that would be part of the struggle of, of feeling shattered is because of the like I said, insecurities, you know, are they going to allow those insecurities to be something that kind of gets in the way here? You know, I really see that this person is someone who does want this with you. You know, awakening to that. This, this kind of gives me a lot of like heart chakra, heart chakra activation and energy. So to close out your reading today, pile one, we're just going to get some advice and guidance for you. And we'll see. Let's see, pile one. Okay. All right, let's see what we've got. We've got perspective, and it says, none of this matters, zoom out and common ground. This almost kind of makes me feel like spirit is saying, look at the bigger picture of things right now, okay, with this person. Maybe there's some certain things that you're really kind of fixated on, and spirit's kind of wanting you to kind of pull back a little bit so you can... Maybe take some time to reflect upon, you know, certain things here. We also have baby steps and it says action. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. So maybe with the baby steps here, maybe this is for some of you understanding that maybe this person is someone who moves slow. Okay, maybe they feel more comfortable with taking baby steps. But I'm also feeling spirit saying to you here is to follow your, your own intuition. We have the age of light and it says you've been training for this for lifetimes. Um, cracked open, rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life. Don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? And we also have Akasha here with your guidance is divinely guided. So a lot of this is very intuitive energy where I feel like spirit is really wanting you to kind of tap into your higher self and that being the wisdom and guidance that you need at this time. Some of you might have past life connection with this person. Okay. May not be for all of you, but some of you may certainly have a past life connection with this person. And, you know, maybe certain things that you're going through in experiencing in this lifetime with this person is kind of certain soul lessons that you must learn. The other person must learn, you know, to be able to overcome certain things within this lifetime. I feel like spirit's trying to really guide you, you know, to making the best possible choices and decisions with whatever the situation is with this person. Um, but I feel like for you, this is also an energy of you surrendering into whatever is happening in this situation, right? Understanding that if it's truly something that is meant to be for you with this person, uh, you will know it, okay? You will feel it from within, and so maybe for some of you it is. I need to just kind of take a step back, you know, and if there is conflict or something going on with this person or between the two of you, that you kind of allow the situation to have the time and space that it needs so that both of you are able to gain clarity on how 
you know, you're choosing to move forward in the situation. Okay. All right. So that is all that I have for you. Pile number one. I do hope this was helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, pal two. So those of you that resonated with the Ethereal Visions Terra Luna edition with the Smoky Citrine, this is going to be your reading today. I'm going to put your crystal here and we're going to look into what is your person currently thinking and feeling about you. Um, so do keep in mind that this is a general reading. Not all the messages that come through may be for you. If something comes through and it makes you feel confused, don't try to force it to fit, okay? I am available for private readings. My email is in the description box. Um, if you're wanting to look into your specific situation versus watching a private or a, a general reading on YouTube, okay? If it resonates, awesome. But if it, you know, you want something more personalized, I'm always taking um, bookings, okay? So pile number two, what is your person thinking and feeling about you? Pile two, we have the fool. The ace of swords. What is your person thinking and feeling? We've got the King of Cups and the Sun. Okay, well, they're thinking and feeling some good things about you <laughs> for sure. Um, I feel like this person is, I don't know, it kind of gives me this vibe here already with what I'm seeing. Like this person is, for some of you, this person could be very much in love with you or feeling themselves having some very strong feelings towards you. Because the Ace of Swords is about some type of truth or some type of breakthrough, some type of clarity about this person's feelings. Um, even the way that this King of Cups is just kind of like sitting and staring off into space. It kind of makes me feel like this person is like sneaking looks at you or like just kind of lost in thought over you. And with the Sun card here, it's almost like even if you guys are not together, that the, the, the thought of you is something that is putting a, a smile on this person's face here. Sorry, these are holographic cards. Um, yeah, it's kind of putting a smile on their face. Um, and I feel like with the full energy here, you know, I feel like there's potentially wanting to take some type of leap of faith here. And that could be towards a new beginning with you. It could be coming forward to express feelings to you. Let's see what else. Some of you, let's see, we've got Aquarius here. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, also Leo energy here. We have the Two of Pentacles in reverse. What are they thinking and feeling about you? Three of Swords. Oh, five of Swords. Why is all this challenging energy here now? What is going on? Hmm. We might need a little bit more clarification. Five of Pentacles. Okay. Page of Cups is at the bottom. Okay. Some of you, this person may have ghosted you. This person may have blocked you. Um kind of shut you out a little bit I'm getting for some of you but I'm seeing for some of you there's an apology um some type of message communication for some of you some of you this might even be a breakup okay with the three of swords here there could have been a breakup a separation there is a feeling of loss or despair here almost like lost love Losing the connection with you for some of you and they may feel kind of defeated Especially if you've broken up with them or they've broken up with you or you guys are going through a breakup or separation right now And I feel like with the page of cups energy here this person for some of you it could be symbolic of an apology Especially if you they owe you one <laughs> Especially if they owe you one 
Um, this could be this person trying to come forward to try to make amends with you. Um, for others of you, this page of cups can be, you know, I'm kind of feeling like this very ethereal floating in the clouds kind of energy here with this page of cups. So I definitely feel like this person is kind of going back and forth here. Back and forth in their mind and trying, maybe for some of you it is, trying to get some clarity here because we do have the Five of Swords coming in right underneath that King of Cups. Um, some of you could very well be dealing with a Pisces. Okay, I'm also getting uh, Libra energy here. Capricorn. Taurus. Okay, let's see. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Oh, yeah. Some of you may have had a, a breakup here. An ending to a long-term relationship. Or you may have had a little bit... I mean, they could have... They could too, you know, de really depending on what your situation is with this person. You could also be connecting with somebody who recently got out of something too, who's still healing. Okay. I'm feeling there's insecurities here. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. Yeah, some of you, this person, especially for those of you that are separated or broken up here, this person is kind of lost in memories, thoughts about you, reminiscing. Um, for others of you, I feel like this person does feel that there's a very special bond between the two of you. Some type of soul connection. This person might even have a feeling of past life energy with you. And I feel like with this Knight of Pentacles energy here, this person is like really trying to get themselves like on track, focused on what their next move is going to be or how, like what, what is the move here? But because we have the Page of Cups as the overall, it is some kind of offer here. You know, whether that is uh, reconciliation or uh, going uh, asking you out, you know. So take it however it resonates, depending on what your current situation is with them right now. It's going to be different for all of you. But this is some form of expression of the heart here with the Page of Cups. And if you're broken up, maybe that is saying, hey, should we try to get back together here? Um, I'm seeing the Five of Swords energy here with the Three of Swords here too. So this almost makes me feel some of you that have had a breakup with this person, there could have been some conflict here. Some hurtful words that were said, exchanged. And, you know, you could have hurt them with your words. They could have hurt you. And this could be words or actions. Okay, the Five of Swords can sometimes be a little aggressive, drama-filled, um, fights, arguments, even that may have, even for some of you, been involving other people, whether that be family member, friends, uh, community, anything like that. Um, some of you may have blocked this person and shut this person out, and if that is the case, they may be really just kind of sitting in their misery. <laughs> I almost want to say sitting in their misery um, feeling very left out in the cold by you, or like I said, this could have been something that they may have done, um, to you here, but I'm seeing, we do have the emperor at the bottom here. Okay. And the emperor is all about coming up with a plan, a strategy, trying to take some type of decisive action here. So they're planning their way through this, whatever this is. Their next move here, and I feel like it is, tied into this Page of Cups, whatever that is, an offer, an apology, trying to make amends, trying to get back together, um, it could be talking about their feelings with you, okay? All right, so let's, we've also got what, Scorpio energies here, uh, Virgo. Capricorn. All right, let's see. Pile number two. What are they thinking and feeling about you? Wow, we've got, I want to have my cake and eat it too. I want to have my cake and eat it too. 
And then we also have serenity here, finding peace after a difficult struggle. We have destiny and it says coming together in perfect divine timing. Hmm. We have I'm all cried out. I'm all cried out. I don't know. Maybe some of you may have had some really challenging energy here with this person. Oh, I want out of this love triangle. Some of you might be in third party situations. Like I said, I kind of feel this person is kind of like in a place of despair here. Hmm. Let's see what else. What are they thinking and feeling about you? Pile number two. I need more than what you give me. And keep in mind with the tarot, energies are always fluid. So feel free to reverse them as necessary. Some Sometimes when these messages come through, they could be certain things that you may have told them. Okay. I need more than what you give me. And we also have, I'm not who I used to be. So, I mean, that could be this person working on changing, transforming. Um, I don't know. Maybe some of you that were in third party situations, maybe they literally did want to have their cake and eat it too. Meaning you and another person and not wanting to make a decision, right? And you may have said, no, no, thank you. Cut them off. Had, a, had words with them. And completely cut them off. And now this person is thinking about the past, thinking about memories, thinking, you know. Hmm. Okay, let's see. We have together here, resolving to make things work between the two of you. So it's something that's on this person's mind, something that they're wanting to do here. Um, if they're still kind of in a love triangle situation, then maybe for some of you it's trying to figure it out. Like, what are they going to do here? We have diverge here, being on different levels or growing apart. Um, and then we have abundance here. Together you create good fortune and prosperity. So it's kind of like this person sees like the two of you being together, you know, is something solid. Like maybe they see for some of you that, that you guys are like a power couple. Okay. Uh, we have a connection I can't explain Okay. Let's see. Pile number two. What are they thinking and feeling? Lost. It says, I'm completely lost right now. I don't know if it's safe to love again. Forgiveness. I hope that you will find forgiveness in your heart for me. Friends, I hope that we can at least be friends. I want the best for you. Future, we are not over. I still dream about a future with you. And stillness, I need to take time for myself. I do care about you. Please don't take it personally. Okay. And at the bottom we have secure here and it says, I feel so safe when you are around. I'm sure that we are meant to be. Hmm. Okay. What else do I want to put in here? Let's get some of these. What are they thinking and feeling about you? Pile number. We have truth. This person wanting to speak truth to you, tell you the truth of their heart, forgive. Forgiveness is here twice. With that page of cups, like I said, for some of you, it's an apology. Hmm. Maybe they did tell you the truth, and because of the truth, you guys, for some of you, might be separated. And they're wanting you to forgive them. Let's see. What are they thinking and feeling about you? Obsession. Okay. <laughs> we have an obsessive 
person here obsessing over you. Separation. Hmm. And then we have beginnings here and stalemate again. Beginnings. Maybe some type of new start for those of you that are separated. Vows. Okay. So this can be surrounding commitment here. And the stalemate. Like, are you guys at a place right now in your connection where things are not progressing? Things are not moving forward? Or for some of you, this can be an indecision surrounding a deeper level of commitment. What are they thinking and feeling? We have tragedy here. And shadows. So this tragedy might be something, you know, that didn't go well in this situation. Um, I don't know. It's kind of giving me like forbidden love vibes for some of you. I feel like this person is having a lot of time to reflect upon their own darkness, their own shadows, their own inner demons. Rekindling here and new beginning is here. Okay, so you got forgive here twice, beginnings here twice, and rekindling with you. And I'm seeing choice at the bottom for some of you. Having to make a choice here, having to choose a path for this um, connection between the two of you. Okay, is where your person's at. So to close out your reading, pilot number two, let's get some additional messages, guidance, whatever you need to hear at this time. Okay, it could be about this connection, could be about something else that spirit is trying to like squeeze in. So you pay attention, <laughs> pay attention to the messages. Especially if you've got love on the brain, you might be ignoring other things in your life right now. <laughs> okay, it happens. We have the great severing here, Mars energy, anger, conflict, and softening to love. So if you are someone who, you know, has been hurt by this person, you know, forgiveness, is, especially if this person has done something wrong, you know, we could be holding a lot of anger or resentment. Um, there could be a lot of Mars energy that's present in the situation at this time, which could create a lot of issues, right? Things that are kind of being brought up here. Um, maybe some things that are being illuminated for both of you to really kind of reflect on with inside of yourself. But if you are someone who's holding a lot of heavy feelings towards this person in terms of anger or resentment, you know, then it, or you're, you're dealing with conflict, then it may be time for you to really kind of just sit with those feelings, you know, and, and kind of work through them, navigate your way through them. Um, so you can really maybe work on forgiveness for some of you. Okay. Um, it's not something that happens, you know, automatically, or when we snap our fingers, when we can forgive someone, um, but it definitely helps to let go of a lot of energetic weight that you might be carrying by softening more into an energy of love or compassion or empathy towards another, you know, really dependent upon how they're treating you, what the situation is. Okay. But when we can come from a place of love and understanding, you know, another person, another soul, regardless of what types of things they may have done to us. Um, when we can find it in within our heart to be able to forgive a person, you know, it makes, it makes it better for us to feel a sense of peace from within. Okay. Um, it takes time. Like I said, um, I had somebody in my past who hurt me really, really bad. Um, and it took a long time for me to go from really thinking and feeling all kinds of negative, nasty, horrible things about that person to moving into a place of acceptance and empathy for, you know, even though he was somebody who really hurt me, that I can look at maybe what his upbringing was, you know, the reasons why he was who he was in the past and being able to kind of make peace with it so I could let go of certain energies. Okay. So it's always helpful to kind of really sit with whatever feelings you have, whatever is coming up for you. Okay. And you can really kind of apply that to any type of situation in your life, right? You could have stuff going on with parents or with friends, um, coworkers. Okay. Let's see what else pile number two. Pile number two, we've got Starkeeper. Pile one got this too. 
It says, Cosmic Ancestor, see the light by staying grounded. Okay, so maybe very important for you to kind of keep yourself grounded in this um, connection or even in other areas of your life. We also have, you got the love, Hadarian energy, codependency, and boundaries. Okay, maybe some of you are needing, if you have, you know, maybe a codependent type of situation happening with this person, maybe there is a need for boundaries. Okay, or for you to learn how to maybe set some boundaries in this situation, especially if this situation with this person is something that's draining you. We also have all paths lead home, inner authority, intuition, turn your gaze within. Okay, is what spirit is kind of wanting you to focus on and focusing on what your intuition um, is really guiding you, right? Not necessarily needing guidance outside of yourself, but more or less looking within for the answers. Okay, sometimes it's it's something that we might not like. Okay, especially when our intuition, we know our intuition is right and our ego doesn't agree with it. You know, it's really about what is... Um, best for us in that regard. I'm going to have to cover this a little bit. Um, we've got water your garden and it says nourishment, body care, tenderness, and rest. Okay. So especially, like I said, for those of you where this connection has kind of taken a little bit of a toll on you emotionally, mentally, um, maybe this is time for you to really kind of nurture yourself. Okay. Take time to nurture you, take care of you. And give yourself that, that time and that energy that you might need at this time as you're working through whatever this is with this person. Okay? All right. So that is all that I have for you. Pile number two. I do hope this was helpful for you guys. And I will see you in the next reading. Hi, Pile three. So those of you that resonated with the Moon Child Tarot and the Pink Lemurian Quartz, this is going to be your reading today. So we are looking at what your person is thinking and feeling about you. Um, and as I told Pile 1 and Pile 2, keep in mind that this is a general reading. Okay, if you want something more specific to your situation with your person, I am always taking bookings for uh, private readings. You can find my email in the description box. Just send me an email and I will provide you with more information on booking readings. Um, as well as other services that I do have available for those of you that are interested. So let's get into your reading. And what I was already kind of getting for you, Pile 3, is that there is a very, very strong soul tie, soul connection, soul bond, however you want to call it, between you and this person. Okay? Very, very strong. And it almost kind of makes me feel for some of you are dealing with a person who is in denial of their feelings. Let's see. Pile 3. What is going on? What is your person thinking and feeling about you? It's almost like what I'm kind of getting here is a person who kind of knows like you are the one. You are the one and having their heart, their intuition kind of guide them to that, but then pushing it away for whatever reason, of course, of course, it's going to be different for all of you, but that's just kind of what I'm getting here so far. Okay, let's see. Pile three, what is going on? What is your person thinking and feeling about you? The strength card. Hmm. Somebody can be dealing with a Leo. What are they thinking and feeling about you? The four of wands. Look at that. Mm-hmm. So we've already got Aries and Leo energy here. What are they thinking and feeling about you? We have the universe, which is the world card. The Ten of Cups. 
beautiful. Hmm. I feel like this person is someone who kind of really dreams about all of the possibilities and potential of this connection. They can see it kind of playing out in their mind's eye. The two of you guys being together. I feel like this person definitely sees you as like their, their perfect match. A connection of balance, harmony. Some of you, this might even be a divine counterpart situation. Okay. Let's see what else. We've also got uh, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Pisces. What are they thinking and feeling about you? This person's thinking about commitment, okay? Being in a committed partnership with you. Um, the Ten of Cups is a beautiful energy of happiness, fulfillment. Mm, it's kind of like the happily ever after card in the tarot. Feeling fulfilled. Emotionally. Let's see, what are they thinking and feeling? We have justice here. So this person, you know, I feel like trying to be honest with themselves, honest with you. Um, I do feel like this person is really trying to find their inner strength, their confidence, the courage. Maybe to make some type of important decision. And I feel like for some of you, it is surrounding commitment here. Nine of Cups. Yeah, it kind of gives me the vibe that, like I said earlier in the very beginning, before we started pulling cards, like you are it. You are the one and they know it. They know it. What are they thinking and feeling about pile number three? I'm going to take these. Okay, so we've got the Three of Cups. We have the Tower and the Ace of Pentacles. So for some of you, this Ace of Pentacles can be symbolic of a new beginning. Um, that may mean starting over for some of you. Hmm. Some of you I'm getting, like this person, some of you might even have like a really strong friendship with this person. You might have like a lot of fun together. Really enjoying your time. I feel like there's a lot of epiphanies and realizations that are kind of coming through for this person about this connection. Um, I do want to clarify this tower a little bit. Why is the tower here? What is this tower here for? The Queen of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. Yeah, I'm definitely getting like a very spiritual energy this person feels. It's like they can feel it, feel this connection in their very being. This is such a beautiful image of that. You know, all these messages that are kind of coming down from the divine into their third eye, into their physical body. They're feeling this connection, something very, very, very spiritual. Some of you, this might even be like a, a telepathic type of connection you might have with this person. Feeling each other's energy, feeling that there's something there. I'm also noticing how there is two little, like she's in her own circle here, right? And there's another circle up here. So it makes me feel like there is this interconnectedness between the two of you. Like I said, a very strong soul connection here. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see what else. Let's get one more. Why is the tower here? Eight of Wands. They feel this energy. We've got, look who's at the bottom, the High Priestess. 
I feel like this person is coming to this place where they're ready to reveal. Look at that. Ten of Pentacles is underneath there. Like they're ready to reveal to you what is in their heart, what's in their mind, what they feel within their soul. Ten of Pentacles. That is commitment, marriage, relationship, long term. You know, when I'm looking at all these little stone structures here, it kind of reminds me a lot of something that has longevity to it. I'm feeling this person feels like there is past lives between the two of you. Hmm. Like they know in their heart that you are the one. You, were, you know, regardless of what the <coughs> current circumstances are right now, whether you guys are separated, in contact, no contact, it's like they, th this is something this person cannot deny, even if they tried to and, you know, pull away from. It's kind of like the universe is bringing them back to you. Bringing them back to you. I feel for many of you, you might be going through some karmic energies or cycles or something with this person. There may be certain soul contracts that you and this person are also needing to full and that fulfill. And that might be something that you're clearing independently. That could be something that is mm, creating some type of misalignment with this connection. You know, almost like there's a need for waiting on divine timing here. Okay, so let's pull some Oracle. I feel like this person is really trying to work on feeling more grounded, more stable, more secure. Hmm. And it's making me feel like this person is more or less wanting to try to really nurture this relationship, this connection. Are you thinking of union? Okay, let's see. What are they thinking and feeling about you, pile number two? I'm sorry, three. We're doing pile three. We have, I'm not being honest with you or myself. No kidding. <laughs> That's what I was feeling at the beginning. This person is in denial. Okay, we have progress here. Taking small steps towards shared goals. I want to see what are they not being honest about. Let's see. What are they not being honest about? What is Pile Three's person not being honest about? What are they not being honest about with Pile Number Three? What are they not being honest about? The Empress, their feelings, their emotions, love. Love, being in love with you, loving you. Um, feeling your energy. Look at that. The lovers is here. I mean, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> the lovers and the empress is here. Seven of cups. I feel like this connection is so strong between you and this person that it kind of throws them off like it makes them feel maybe overwhelmed confused what are they currently thinking about pile number three big love it says this is the one you have both been waiting for and I feel like you both know it. I want to have my cake and eat it too. You know, maybe for somebody that means being single, staying single, or could be something else completely different. But let's see. I need more than what you give me. And of course, that could be something that you've told them, they've told you. We have fulfill here. And it says trying to satisfy every need for each other. 
And it makes me feel like this person wants to make sure that they can keep you happy, make you happy. Um, you know, wanting to be that with you, for you. Together, resolving to make things work between the two of you. We have, I don't share the same goals as you. So it may even be kind of like this issue where this person feels like their current focus right now. Like, let's just say you, for instance, are wanting commitment. You're ready to settle down. And this person's like, but I'm still working on my career. I'm still traveling. I'm still, you know, doing those things. It's It's been so long since I felt this way. Let's get one more. We have sincerity. Make sure that you are both being authentic. Make sure that you are both being authentic. And I feel like for some of you, maybe this is something this person has maybe struggled with, is, is speaking, um, I feel like, in that way. Okay. All right, so let's get into pulling some more messages here for you. Pile three. What is your person thinking and feeling about you? All right, let's see. All right, we've got hopeful here. And it says, I'm hoping for a chance with you. I don't want to give up on us. And then we have wondering here. I'm wondering if you want to see me. We need a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. So like I said, take these messages how they resonate. If they don't really fit, then don't worry about it. Um, I'm thankful for our connection. You taught me how to surrender to love. We have stillness. I need to take time for myself. I do care about you. Please don't take it personally. We also have angry. And it says, I'm angry at myself for causing us to be apart. I feel like I ruined everything. And then we have blocked here. Ooh, okay, so this may not be for all of you. It says, I know that I'm blocking my feelings and next actions. I need to find myself. Okay. Let's see what else. I mean, some of you maybe literally you guys have each other blocked here. All right, pile three. What are they thinking and feeling about you? What are they thinking and feeling? Boy, there's a lot coming out here <laughs> for you guys. Okay. So we have trust here. And these two people are kind of making a shape of a heart with their fingers here. So maybe this could be about trusting love, trusting the connection, trusting their own feelings. We have nostalgia here. So for somebody, this can be this person kind of caught up in feelings about you or reminiscing about memories of you. We also have destiny here. So some of you, this person could really feel, like I said, you are the one. We have truth. Insomnia. This makes me feel like this person is doing a lot of dreaming about you or staying awake at, at night thinking about you, not able to get restful sleep. This reminds me a lot of the Nine of Swords. We have forgive here. So maybe for some of this person is wanting your forgiveness. Um, we also have the shadows here and dream come true. Dream come true. And this kind of makes me feel like this person is facing a lot of their, their shadow self here. We have avoidance, discernment, and then we also have in hiding here. This person in hiding. And maybe for somebody that is, you know, maybe a no contact situation or a person who's, you know, not speaking about their feelings. This energy of discernment here. You know, I feel like this person is trying to really think about things, I feel like, very carefully. 
Um, some of you, literally, this person could be avoiding you or has avoided speaking the truth. But look at that. Destiny and dream come true here. Okay. So, at the bottom of the deck, we have I miss you. I miss you. Okay. So to close out your reading, Pile 3, we're just going to get any other last messages that Spirit has for you. Okay. About this connection or anything else for that matter that Spirit wants to bring to your attention at this time. So Pile 3, any last messages, guidance, advice for you? We have, what is that? Like three, let's get one more. Okay, so we have loosen your grip. And it says coping mechanisms, density, addiction, and let God in. Okay, so more or less to me, this is about not trying to force or control the situation with this person or anything else for in your life for that matter. Loosening your grip on it, which is more or less allowing for flexibility. Allowing for what's meant for you to come to you without you feeling like you have to force it, right? It's about being in a place, I feel like, that is open and receptive, open to receive, okay? Versus us trying to step in and control an outcome to a situation, trying to force something to happen, okay? We also have the portal here, and it says doors are opening, you decide, rewards, and wild card. And so... There's doors that are opening here. I mean, this could even be opportunities. Certain opportunities are coming to you in your life. And with the wild card message, I feel like it's, you know, sometimes we need to learn to trust our intuition before it makes sense. You know? With whatever direction this is spirit kind of leading or guiding you in. We also have child of the cosmos here. It says the intelligence of the universe lies within you. And I almost feel like this is when you're feeling kind of lost in this situation, like what should I do? What's going to happen next? What is this? What is that? It's a need for us to kind of quiet the noise of our mind, of the outside world, and a need for you to kind of go within because it is within you that the answers lie, right? To even the deepest questions that we have about life and about our path and about, you know, certain people, certain situations, the answers can always be found within, we also have trust your path. And it says, if you knew you would be supported, what would you do? Right? And this may even be something that helps some of you even on your spiritual path or on your, you know, trying to align with what your soul's purpose is. Um, feeling guided in your heart uh, in that way. Okay? I'm seeing sacred union at the bottom. And it says, beloved within inner and outer relationships. So I feel like this is especially important for you in that we have to understand that we are all made of energy. We all carry a certain vibration, a certain frequency. And when we are trying to, you know, align with love or with, you know, even with a person, you know, we have to understand that our vibration attracts certain things to us. And if we're really trying to align in the energy of love, there's a need for you to really find that inner balance within yourself, within union within the self, aligning your own energies to that of love and openness and receptivity. And not only does that affect the relationship that you have with yourself, but it also affects the people that you connect with, you know, Especially for those of you where this is kind of like a divine counterpart situation and you guys are just like there's something that's off, something's not aligning, even though that you know that you're meant to be. That could be a need for you to really kind of take some time to work on yourself and align your own energies while your person could be doing the same. So that, you know, you're, you're coming together in that union when the time is right, when the two of you are an energetic match for each other. Okay, so I feel like that's kind of like food for thought there. Something definitely to reflect upon is the relationship that we have with ourselves. 
okay? And understanding that, that what we feel from within and the own vibration that we carry will be mirrored back to us in the connections that we have with others, right? All right, so I'm going to leave this here for you, pile number three. I do hope this was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading.